Dear students, we shall now learn about the extension principle for fuzzy sets. A principle which is used for fuzzifying the crisp functions is known as extension principle. So, any given function f from capital X to capital Y induces two functions where one function is from set of all fuzzy set with respect to the universal set X to the set of all fuzzy sets with respect to the universal set Y. And F inverse will be the set of all fuzzy sets with respect to the universal set Y to the set of all fuzzy sets with respect to the universal set X, which are defined by F of A is equal, F of A of Y is equal to supremum of A of X, where X such that Y is equal to F of X. For all A element of the set of all fuzzy sets with respect to the universal set X. And the inverse function is defined by f inverse of b of x is equal to b of f of x for all b element of set of all fuzzy sets with respect to the universal set y. Now here we have an example. For example, we take the universal set capital X to be a, b, c and capital Y to be 1, 2. Now here we define a function where a is mapped to 1, b is mapped to 1 and c is mapped to 2 and how will the inverse function be f inverse will be 1 to a and then 1 to b and c to i mean 2 to c now if we generally observe in terms of crisp functions this will lose its property of being a function because uh, we know that one element cannot be mapped uh, to two elements but in while extending it as a fuzzy set let's see how the mapping we induce is now here we know that the null set will be mapped to the null set now here we are going to see the extension of the function f now a is mapped to 1 b is mapped to 1 and c is mapped to 2 so how are we going to write this now first we can write two sets a and b separately and a is mapped to 1 b is mapped to 1 and c is mapped to 2 and now here we have a comma b being mapped to we know that a is mapped to 1 and b is mapped to 1 and so it is mapped to 1 and b and c and a and c are mapped to 1 comma 2 because we know that a and b are mapped to 1 and b and c i mean uh, c is mapped to 2 and a b c when we take all together it is mapped to 1 comma 2 so this is how we extend a function okay and now this is the inverse function now here we have phi 1 2 1 comma 2 that is this set and here we have the other set now phi is mapped to phi and we could see that 1 is mapped to a and and one is mapped to b now how can this view can be viewed as an extension of the inverse function f inverse now what we do we write it together like this one comma two so when we do so i mean uh, uh, for example here we have uh, not this here uh, we write this a and b together a comma b so in that case we can easily map one to a comma b so uh, you could see that the uh, one is mapped to a and b now two is mapped to c and uh, one comma two is mapped to a b and c so this is how we extend an inverse function now this process uh, this principle uh, this extension principle fuzzifies the crisp functions x and y so the um, process of fuzzifying the crisp functions is known as the extension principle hope you have understood the concept of extension principle in our next video we will be th proving a theorem uh, which uh, which will explain the properties of the extension principle thank you